Hello, my name is Alicia Lefebvre. I am a French artist living near Paris. My goal is to try to help any people of any age being more familiar with neuroscience matter. And here I'm making this video to try to explain some dysfunctioning aspects of the cells in a, a neurodegenerative disease that is called multiple sclerosis. In the multiple sclerosis disease, cells contained in the central nervous system, I mean the brain and the spinal cord, are dysfunctioning. Thus, all the functions from the central nervous system can be damaged. Among the symptoms, problems to move one's body is an example. We will focus on this one symptom here since it is linked with the dysfunctioning cells we can explain with our material. At the last stages of the illness, people can also be paralyzed. I invite you to discover or rediscover our famous oud player, Halli Halliday, in my video series MTTVC, that means even you will understand. Affected by this disease, Ali illustrates both symptoms and mechanisms involved. The video contains English subtitles if needed. Different kinds of cells inhabit our nervous system. The neurons are the best known. A neuron is made up with three different parts. The cell body, that is blue, contains the nucleus and controls the activity of the cell. The dendrites in green are antennas like that receive the other neuron messages. The longest process in orange, called the axon, spreads the electrical message that is represented with shining lights you will see in action afterward. Our nervous system also contains glial cells that take care about neurons. We call them glia, like glue, because when researchers first discovered them, they thought they were used to glue all the brain together. Now we know it is not what they are meant to do, but they've kept their name. Among the glial cells, oligodendrocytes help the spreading of the electrical message through the nervous system, and its dysfunctionment has an implication into the multiple sclerosis disease. Oligodendrocytes roll around the neuron's axons. The white sheath appearing is called the myelin sheath. It gives its name to the brain white matter. The myelin sheath helps the electrical message to be spread through the neuron networks. Let's see the shining lights onto the electronic neuron. We never will learn how to do movements. For instance, whether we learn some sports, cooking movements or any music instrument, more we repeat the movements to memorize them more the myelin sheath roll around the axons. More they roll around the axons, more their diameter thicken. More they are thick, more the messages fasten. More they fasten, more we are able to do movements fast and get dexterity. The myelin can roll around the axon up until 300 layers of membrane. Here, we only can make two of them. Sorry for that. An oligodendrocyte 
never rolls twice the same neuron. One process rolls one neuron and other processes roll other neurons. Then all the myelin sheaths wrapping one single neuron are from different oligodendrocytes. Now we understand how some of the processes of the nervous conduction in neural networks enable us to move, to play, to cook, to play any music instrument and improve our sport practices, we will try to figure out how those same mechanisms, whenever they are damaged, can cause movement difficulties like in the multiple sclerosis disease. White blood cells, usually flowing through blood vessels only, are cells defining the body against virus and bacteria. They never come out, except in multiple sclerosis where, without we can figure out why, they run out and attack the myelin sheath. The myelin sheath being attacked it prevents the electrical signal to be fast and efficient enough. Movements start to be impaired consequently. This is why body movements or even the sight can be impaired. At the last stages of the illness, people can be paralyzed, the electrical messages unable to go through the neural networks. Thanks to the electronic neuron, and the stuffed oligodendrocytes, we have made up our mind with how the myelin sheath that oligodendrocytes create around the neuron's axons, usually helping the nervous conduction, is here preventing it to function properly, and how the dysfunctioning alters the ability to realize everyday movements like in multiple sclerosis. Our cells making up our nervous system underlie an amazing, wide, microscopic universe inside any of us, enabling us to do all the fantastic things we can do in our everyday life. How to take care of them to prevent their dysfunctioning and the debilitating illnesses engendered?